What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is a video on IMR and it is about broken lands. Okay, so we're going to go through a few things that you need to really be aware of. Um, obviously, we all start at the lowest one, level one. Uh, you want to work your way up through. Uh, where is number one? Number one. So every time you clear a stage, you must do it in order. You should do it in order because otherwise... Otherwise, you get this. When you join a fortress battle, if any untaken fortress whose level is lower than the one you're about to challenge exists, enemies will be sharply enhanced. So it's important that you do push through it in the correct number, okay? That's the best way to do it. Remember that all towers have a faction as well, and you will get a plus 20% output on your hero. For instance, oh my goodness, I have garrisoned heroes. Um, I didn't do changes from last night. So you can see here... Um, Agatha is in a in a level three tower, plus twenty percent output for Eternal faction and uh, Eternal sector. Sorry, and she's getting plus nineteen an hour. It also takes into consideration your awaken um, level. Your sorry, your exclusives, and then your awaken. So if you've got five awakens and five exclusives, you'll get more. For instance, this is the same one. Slack though is fully exclusive. Fully awakened, he's getting 27 an hour instead of 19 an hour. So always garrison the heroes that are the highest exclusive and awaken. Um, obviously, the higher tower we go to, we get more chariot. I don't even know how to chariot, Ch charity, charity. That's what we're going to call it. I think someone commented that actually. That's how it's called. Um, so charity. Uh, this is the the best way to do it is get full exclusives, full awakens. Also, legends get more than epics. Legends get more than epics. You see here, total output is 496 per hour. We are currently in 19,322. And also, when other of your guild members kill things, um, you get that as well as a reward. So it's shared across the guild. Obviously, we have our upgrades and we unlock extra blessings each time we get to 10, 20 or 30. The stats increase are huge. It does get a little bit costly, obviously. But, you know, if we're pushing through together, I'm going to level mine up equally, I believe. Um, maybe, in fact, I do want to push a red mark, for instance, and I'll unlock the 20 for an extra blessing. But, you know, depending on how you're pushing through it, through it and what you're focusing, um, then it really depends. It depends on, on, on what stage you're going to be killing. But the stats are huge, a huge increase to your stats. Like, the good thing is, is that the lower levels are actually very easy to clear. You can clear it with one hero, but you only get one attempt per day. Per day, if I was to say go for this one, hang on, I can't because I'm garrisoned. Let me just select this one here. Uh, Catherine is in here. You only get to use one hero per day. Uh, so if I was to use all of these, for instance, in this stage and clear it, then I would no longer be able to let, select Islet, Seth, Inner, or Mamuk on the next battle that I did. It would just be the ones below who haven't been used. So if you have a bigger roster, the better. The better. Uh, what else can I quickly cover on it? Um... I really recommend saving your stall teams. Like, for instance, your your, your Lydia Marvel kind of Nordak um, teams but with Ben Austin or whatever you're using to really freeze the enemies. Uh, or Santa, you know, use, say, spread it up a bit. Use Quinlan and Nicholas. Use Nasir on a different stage because these stages are tough. They have a huge amount of stats, okay? And it's long battles, really long battles. So be aware of that as well, that your battles will be long when you get up to here. Um, you get battle bonuses for more people inside the fortress as well. How can I show that quickly? Uh, two people in here, so the, the bonuses are increased. And the more people you have in a tower, the, the better the bonus. As you can see, this one's got three in it, and it's increased even further. So by the time, you know, we get to the big level 10s, you're really going to want a lot of people in that tower to be able to take it down. To be able to take it down. Um, the rewards here as well, uh, you get, you get quite a few stamps along your journey, uh, on a Chiroti goals, individual, individual rewards and guild rewards. These will obviously be to do with your hourly rate as well. And you can unlock those. And then your guild rewards, which are fantastic. Literally really, really good. The stamp experience, um, the stamps and then obviously diamonds as well. Um, so the more fortresses your guild takes, the better for you. The better for you. Um, 
ranking instructions as well. There is a guild rankings. Number one will get 16 stamps and 15,000 uh, tokens. And an individual also get a very nice uh, reward. So, yeah, people will be pushing for that. I really do recommend before you go, you know, before you stop, put all your highest garrison heroes in the highest tower that you can because that's where you're going to be getting more output. Okay, so the more output we're getting, the higher rank we're going to achieve. Right, this is that's pretty simple in itself. But the most important thing is hitting the faction, putting the right hero in the faction, and having full exclusives, full awakens. I know, I know, it's annoying. I know it's annoying. Uh, but yeah, um, you can also retreat. So I have Yoko in here. I could retreat her um, for later on, or I, and I could go and attack level six as well now. So I could I could throw in two more heroes into here and try and complete that stage. So you're not stuck to this like for instance ursh i really think you should move out of here bro and move up to a higher stage because you're losing out on chiroti same as all of everyone else is doing this um so you really do want to be sticking into like at least level three and then pushing on as our stats increase with blessings we can target down those harder towers so that's kind of it i feel like i've covered the majority of it um obviously you can only yeah, 10 garrisons, it does say here, the higher the garrison's hero quality, awakening level, and exclusive level, the more the extra output. You can see it for yourself. Um, so, yeah, let's go and quickly do a couple of stamp pulls that we have. We have a 20 stamp pull. Let's see if we can get a legend. Be nice. Be nice. It would be nice. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay, what, what is this one? Power protection. Hey, this is... Actually, quite nice. And spell breaking impact. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, some of these stamps are very, very good. Some of these stamps are very, very good. Um, yeah, so I'll see all of you in the next video. Have fun with the new content. It is time consuming, though. It is time consuming. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Have a fantastic day, even wherever you are. Goodbye.